temperature of negative 17 with about 20 mile an hour winds, which I think that comes out to a wind chill of around negative 37 degrees. So we are in four wheel drive in the truck, slowly getting out on this frozen road. We did some donuts in the parking lot over at the school, so that was pretty fun. I came out last night and I put some blankets on my ponies and made sure that they were warm, put a lot of shavings down, which we ended up getting a big old blizzard, and so the shavings are probably all covered in snow. But at least they had something for a little bit to lay down in and to stay warm. Surprisingly, this is a huge storm for Iowa. We usually don't get this much snow, and we don't usually get, uh, I think, just this uh, degree of temperature drop. Lots of things have been getting canceled. However, for us working at the hospital, the hospital never closes, so we've been walking to work every day in the snow, wearing our snow clothes and our snow boots, and just staying bundled up. So we are working a night shift tonight. We will be walking through the blizzard to get to work. I first just wanted to check on my ponies and play a little bit in the snow, so come along with us. Got a steep downhill right here. <laughs> These county roads are are sloped on both sides so that the water runs off but it gets kind of scary when there's a lot of snow and ice because your car constantly wants to slide off of the road and you have to drive in the middle of the road to keep that from happening but when you are trying to pass people you can't be in the middle of the road so um, it gets a little bit uh, scary if you like videos like this be sure to check out the rest of my channel like and subscribe subscribing to my channel helps share my channel with other horse lovers like you so please consider subscribing. This is not plowed yet. This is the entrance to the horse ranch. If we were not in four wheel drive right now, we would absolutely be stuck. And this is more than a foot of snow because there are some huge snow drifts. All right, here, hold the camera. Woohoo! This is insane! Oh my gosh! <laughs> massive snow drifts oh these are like four foot deep or more we they're about to... four foot deep i think so <laughs> look at that wow nope it's plowing oh. <sighs> keep the speed should i stop or no you gotta park getting into the driveway we've got snow blowing in my eyes so I'm just gonna check on the ponies and we're not gonna spend too much time out here because this is quite the storm we've got probably at least two feet of snow and it's packed down so maybe about six inches that we're walking through uh, but it is a blizzard out here Because all reform. I know. Do you want to knock them down? Sure. With your face <laughs> candy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks frozen. Oh, it's a piece of hay. <laughs> What's up, guys? You guys staying warm? It's not cold out here, but it is wet. Yeah. Get some grain. Knock down some icicles. Here. We got ponies in deep, deep snow. Oh. Hi, Candy. It's kind of dangerous. <laughs> we got icicles up here. Easy. Easy ponies. Easy ponies. Getting a little nervous of the icicles falling. Back from there, dude. The whole thing. 
try to make it full. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quite the drift. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think they just form on the side because it's trying to drain. Yeah. And it just can't. Hello, my snow ponies. Look at this. I am almost knee deep in snow right here. And the ponies, they make very specific tracks. They just go along the outside of their little paddock right here. Well, they've got a heated waterer that probably stays around 50 degrees or so. Looks very nice. and not frozen all right this is their little stall looks cozy yeah, what's up buddy all right okay i am just probably gonna scoot around this uh this stuff maybe put some more bags down to keep it dry tonight and i'm gonna give him some grain come here buddy so this this is a mix of, um, it's like a senior, like a light, smart choice grain, very low in uh, like easy sugars. And then I've got it mixed with Pro Force, which has got a little bit more molasses, uh, but hopefully not enough that it's gonna make them uh, have worsening insulin resistance. And then they've got their nice blankets on. Um, I think they're scared of this thing. Now. Just like to make sure that they don't have any wet fur under their blankets and blankets to keep them dry. Feels pretty good to me. They're all wet up here on their necks, which um, doesn't really make them that cold. So they've got like a nice layer of like, pretty much like down under that top layer of fur. All right. Let's I'm just going to kind of push some poop off to the side and because of all the snow out in the pasture they tend to pee and poop all in the same spot and so you you get a lot more of a just wet footing and bedding and so I try to put down a good amount of shavings and also some pelleted wood to soak that up so their feet aren't just standing in muck all day the issue too though is then your shavings get very wet and if you don't go through it a lot it just becomes big ol' muck slush. <laughs> when did this thing get a, rip, a hole in it? Um, I think that has been there for a little bit. I saw that the other day. And it's then, got a few. Yeah, <laughs> it's not as sturdy as the weather beta ones. Oh, I thought this was. No, this is a tough one. That oh. one's a weather beta. Oh. But this one's cheaper and thick, but um, it definitely doesn't hold up as much. Yeah. So the ponies, they'll get these little, like, um, easy. These like little snowballs that stick to their fur, like it'll melt and then freeze back onto their feathers. And so in like really cold conditions. I thought it was called withers. Uh, withers are up on is the top of their shoulder. That's a feather? <laughs> these are they call these feathers, yeah. Okay. But um or uh, yeah, they're fat locks. Fat locks. Fat locks. But so um when it's really cold, you know, they'll get some big old like balls hanging off of those <laughs> and so I try to go and like comb through it and take some of those out so it's not just keeping their legs cold. <laughs> Alrighty. Are 
right, I'm going to go get another thing of shavings. I'm going to dump that in here so they stay nice and warm. The low tomorrow, uh, or late this night into the morning, it's going to be 9 degrees Fahrenheit with uh, winds of around 20 miles an hour blowing straight in here. And so it's going to be a feel of negative 11, which is not the coldest that they have felt. But I just want to make sure if they want to lay down, they've got something nice and cozy to lay in. So what I do is I, I pull in, so they tend to kick all the nice dry stuff to the edge. And so I let them do that and then the next day I come and I pull the stuff from the edges into the middle or about this like back third. And then they can lay in that and then I'll put a new layer on top of it. Hey buddy. Easy. Easy. Okay, cool. And unfortunately, the way that the shelter is built, all of the rain and the snow just kind of blows in. And so pretty much all of this ends up getting wet. But I just try to keep putting new stuff on it. And, uh, we just do our best. All right, let's go get some shape. Pony ponies. Deep snow. get scared of the plastic. Easy. Alright, I'm gonna dump this over here, kind of oh it's a dead, it's a dead bird. Are you sure? Okay, we're going to put this over here by the wall, and then they will kind of pull it out after walking it. Kick it around a little bit, but they'll do a good job kicking it around themselves. Oh, sorry, I got shavings in your food. <laughs> <laughs> right, so nice. And they'll mix this around more when they eat, and they'll just kind of help dry out their leg a little bit. And uh, they can kick it out a little bit more, and then they'll lay in it later. All right, I think that is all I can really do today. It is still snowing. I am not really going to be riding right now just because I don't want to get them sweaty and I have been trying to let Sunny's feet cool down a little bit. They were feeling warm the last few weeks and so I've been giving him some time off keeping him from eating too much high sugar grain and I think standing in the snow has actually helped if he was developing a little bit of laminitis. So we are just going to drive out of here. I think my ponies are set for the night. Temperatures are really going to drop this week and so we'll do some more filming so we can share that with you guys on how to keep your ponies warm <coughs> in extreme cold temperatures. So if you guys have some advice on what you do to keep your ponies warm during extreme cold temperatures, please leave comments below and help share our experience of owning horses. So remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys here next time. Okay, we are gonna head out of here.